Hello, I'm Todd Hagens here at Webb Street School with Principal Chris Mills and Transition Teacher Christine Tileston. We are here to learn about the aquaponics program. So let's go inside to find out what aquaponics is all about. We are now inside the aquaponics greenhouse here at Webb Street School. And Christine, this is the first step. This is where it all begins. So talk with us about what we are seeing here in these three trays. So this is our propagation table. This is where it starts. And so we start with pelleted seeds. And so our students will plant the seeds and then it will stay in the propagation table for three weeks. And this is our first week where you can see there's seeds. And then we have a little, the next week that's starting to grow. And then our last section shows the seedling. That's what they're called right before they go into the system. And these are the seedlings that are ready to go in. So this is the first step. You can see where the seeds, the growth begins and it gets to this point and it's ready to move to the next step of the tables that are behind us. Yes. Now we are at the second phase of growth for our plants. We saw the seedlings, and now the seedlings go into this grow, growing bed, correct? Yeah. Tell us about this part of the process. So this is where really the aquaponics pr process begins. We have our seedlings, and our students will plant the seedlings into the bed by just picking it up and then dropping it right in there like that, and then It'll, it'll start growing um, for four weeks. And we have six or seven different varieties of lettuce that we grow. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And I know that you call them growing beds, but you could really call it a water bed because you can you see under there that it is water that it fuels the plants to grow. Yes, it completely grows within water. There's no soil at all. So now we are going to go from this process with our seedlings, we're going to show what it looks like after they've had some growth. Yes. Now, Christine, the next phase, you can see this is about two weeks into the process. And look at the growth that you already have on the lettuce. Yeah, the lettuce has really started to perk up and it's, it's starting to take its shape. We, um, this lettuce right here, this is our mira lettuce. It's actually our most popular lettuce that we grow. Um, everybody loves it because it's a big leafy green. And you can start to see how the roots are starting to really grow and they're reaching out for the water and all the nutrients that are in the water. And in this area here, you have lettuce, a different type of lettuce. And so we have green oak leaf here. That just pulls right out of there. Yep. You can see the, the roots there grow. on this type of lettuce. And of course then, this is just like we saw earlier, you've got the water there under each, each panel that where the, yeah. the growth is taking place. Yeah, and you can actually, if you start to pick it up, you can start to see all those roots under there. It's really starting to grow great. And again, I think you mentioned that there's no soil, there's no dirt, it's all grown with the water. Yes, it's all water. Um, it's constantly cycling and there's no dirt at all. It's clean. So we're about at this step, two weeks into the growth process. The next phase that we're going to show you, the next step, how far into the growth process are we going to be? It'll be the third week and so it's really going to be starting to get really big. Okay, so let's go and take a look at our plants in week three in the next step. All right, let's go. Okay, Christine, we are at the next phase of growth and wow the lettuce is, is developing it's growing it, it's looking great yes yeah, so we're three weeks in and so um, the lettuce is really starting to take its shape and we're really starting to see the structure of the lettuce this one right here it's our butter lettuce everybody loves butter that you can actually find butter lettuce in the grocery store but why go to the grocery store if you can come here to Web Street School and get some lettuce and so it's it's growing it looks beautiful. Show us those roots uh, that you can see. It's evidence of the growth that you've seen there on the plant. Yeah, it's, it's really grown a lot from the, the previous week. It's much longer than it was before. 
And again, it's growing all with water. Mm -hmm. And we're at week three. So now we're going to take a look at week four, and it will be time for harvesting. I'll be ready to go and ready to eat. And now we're at the next phase of growth, and I guess you could say it's the final phase of growth. Week four with our lettuce, and wow, look, look how big it has gotten. Yeah, so this is our week four. This is the lettuce that get, will get harvested, and it is, it's big, it's beautiful, and as you can see, the roots have grown a lot. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll harvest the lettuce and usually we use scissors and we'll cut the roots off. And my students are completely involved in the process. They help cut the lettuce out of the system. They'll pack it up, get it ready to go to our restaurants. We use, or we sell our lettuce to two different restaurants. We sell to Web Custom Kitchen and Gaston Poor House. And then we've actually do have a new customer, it's the Lincoln County Country Club. So the lettuce is harvested here and it goes right to the restaurants and I bet some of the patrons at the restaurants don't realize that the lettuce is grown right here locally, right here at Webb Street School. Um, they, they probably don't and they don't recognize the fact that this is the freshest lettuce that you can get because the lettuce that you get in a grocery store has been packaged and has preservatives on it and has been in the grocery store probably for several weeks. While we cut this out of the system, harvest it, and take it to the restaurant and they're able to serve it that same day. It is fresh, it is beautiful, and it's amazing how over a one month period you go from those seeds and those seedlings to a head of lettuce that's ready to eat, ready to go into the restaurant, and ready for people yes. to enjoy. Yes, um, and people absolutely love it. People are, ask for it all the time. It's an on-demand lettuce. And so we have shown you the growth process, and we have talked about the water. That's an important component to the growth, obviously. Next, we're going to show you the water and how it cycles, how it's uh, the plants are fertilized through our aquaponic system. So Christine, we have shown the phases of growth for the lettuce, but for that lettuce to grow, you have to have water and you have to have fertilizer. And that's where this tank of fish, where that comes in to play. Talk about what is going on here with the fish. So this is the aqua part of aquaponics. It's called aquaculture. And so we use fish to help the lettuce grow by, we feed the fish on a daily basis and they produce fish waste. And that circulates through the system and helps the lettuce grow so quickly. So this is how you get the water. This is how you get the fertilizer that creates the lettuce that is harvested and delivered to the restaurants. So you're going to feed the fish. So you have the food over there. It is weighed so that you do not provide too much or too little. And you can see the, they know when that goes in there because they, they come right to the top of the tank and are excited about being uh, fed uh, here today. I am with Webb Street School Principal Chris Mills and Chris, the aquaponics lab here at Webb Street, it is incredible. Yes, sir. When I first came to Webb Street as principal, you know, I first thought, hey, you just throw some fish food in with the fish and you just cut some lettuce. But I did not realize how much academics was actually involved with aquaponics um, from the one-to-one -one correspondence of planting the seeds to measuring the growth of the lettuce to checking the water temperature. There's amazing things that happen at Web Street with the aquaponics, with the academics piece of it. And I love that the aquaponics greenhouse, the students are very involved with what goes on here. They are, it's amazing. Just like our plants grow, our students grow. Uh, it's very exciting to see them from the first day all the way to the end of the year. Just the amount of growth that they show and the pride that they show from planting the seeds all the way to harvesting the lettuce. And this involves math. It involves science. 
it involves so many skills uh, that the students are gaining. Talk about some of those skills. W what do you learn as a student here in the aquaponics lab? Sure. Uh, definitely math skills from weighing the lettuce to planting the seeds. We use one-to-one -one correspondence. They have to put one seed per one hole. Also, with the measurement of the water, they have to learn temperature, making sure that the temperature stays the same. Uh, we also do a lot of writing with this, um, and so our students document what the temperature is and, and the different things that have to go on with the, the chemicals of the water. And I know that Christine Tileston, the teacher who coordinates this program, she is awesome with the students. She is amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome to see her be engaged with our students. Um, she has a passion of, of seeing the students grow and also seeing the lettuce and, the, and taking care of the fish. The fish are her babies as well. Now, Chris, there are two other programs here at Webb Street School that I want to mention, and one of them is the greenhouse, and we're going to step next door and take a look at it. Sounds great. Let's go. Now we're inside the greenhouse here at Webb Street School, and this is where plants grow. And with us is Courtney Williams. She's the assistant principal here at Webb Street. And Courtney, the plant sale every spring is so popular. These are just a few of the plants that are available for sale. Yes, every spring before spring break, we have a plant sale where we offer these wonderful ferns. We have Kimberly, Boston, and Macho ferns. We have our lovely purple wandering dude and our spider plant. We also offer veggie starters and annual flowers for your flower beds. And I was here last spring. I bought plants for my garden. I bought plants for my back porch and they look incredible. So thank you to the students here at Webb Street for giving us great plants to enjoy. Yes. Come on and buy some. So we've talked about aquaponics. We've talked about the greenhouse here. There's one other program that I do want to mention, and that is the food pantry. Yes, we're so excited because we're able to help support students all throughout Gaston County, and our students kind of run it like an online grocery store experience. It's great to see the students in the food pantry. Uh, they are the online orders. They collect the cans, they collect the goods, they package them, they get them ready for delivery. Someone comes by and picks them up. So it really is like an online shopping experience. It is. It's a, it's a wonderful process and this, us giving back to the community, which we love. I want to thank Principal Chris Mills here at Webb Street School, as well as Assistant Principal Courtney Williams and Transition Teacher Christine Tileston for giving us an inside look at what happens here at Webb Street School. For Channel 21, I'm Todd Hagens. Thanks so much for joining us.